WKBN gets a yearly reminder that we're an official emergency information station for the Beaver Valley Power Station, which uses nuclear power. I wanted to learn more about what could happen in the event of an accident and how you would receive vital information. The power station sits on the Ohio River in Shipping Port, which is less than five miles from the Columbia County line. In fact, it's 10 miles from East Liverpool, about 27 miles from Lisbon, an hour from Youngstown and Warren. Now imagine if there was something significant which could affect your safety. I explored the plans in place to help protect you and found out if you should prepare in advance. What would you do if the siren went off, alerting of a situation at the Beaver Valley Nuclear Power Station? A 10-mile planning zone covers portions of Columbiana County, places like East Liverpool, Calcutta, and St. Clair. And it's why special emergency guides are sent out every year. Pretty much everything that a person that lives within that 10-mile zone needs to know is either contained in this document. The info is still available in phone books and also online. The emergency preparedness system for the nuclear facility has many different levels of an emergency, starting with an unusual event or an alert. Those are the only types of events we've ever had at Beaver Valley. These very low events that don't have any safety significance. There has never been a radiation release at the Beaver Valley plant, but the plan is in place should it ever be needed, including where school children would be moved. Students at six schools inside the zone, including East Liverpool High School, Westgate Middle, and two elementaries, would be moved to Lisbon High or the Columbiana County Career and Tech Center. Also, radiation levels would be tested before people would be allowed to evacuate. We have extensive uh, equipment for monitoring of radiation, monitoring of personnel to make sure that they're not contaminated with radiation. Their supplies also include decontamination equipment. Potassium iodine pills are supplied by the Department of Health during the year. It's a medicine that blocks the uptake of radioactive iodine by the thyroid gland. Beaver Valley has an inspector from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission on duty all the time, and safety is the top priority. Um, we test our emergency plans very regularly. As a matter of fact, up to four times a year we're running drills with all of our employees to make sure that they can respond if there's an event. If ever there was an emergency, the Joint Emergency Center would be evacuated. This video is from a drill in Columbiana County. Those are required every year, and there will be two this year in March and June. In the last exercise we had a perfect score, so we've set the bar kind of high. We're hoping we can pull that off again in, in 2018. First Energy wants to sell the Beaver Valley Power Station as well as the Davis Bessie plant in Ohio. If that happens or even if they stop using the plant to make electricity, the emergency plans would stay in place as long as the nuclear fuel is still on site. And go to WKBN.com. I've posted what the safety guide recommends you put in an emergency kit.